Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today we will get to know about what happens in asthma. Asthma is primarily an inflammatory disease of bronchial smooth muscle. It is also known as bronchial asthma. Asthma is a condition where there is an increased response of bronchi to various stimuli resulting in narrowing of the airways that is constriction of bronchi it is characterized by difficulty in breathing that is dyspnoia cough wheezing that is abnormal sound during breathing accompanied by increased mucosal secretion and increased respiratory rate that is tachypnoia asthma cough chronic obstructive pulmonary disease that is COPD are some of the common respiratory diseases. Let's know about pathophysiology of asthma. Asthma may be caused due to several factors like allergens, chemical irritants which trigger the mast cells to release the inflammatory mediators like histamine, prostaglandins, leukotrienes, cytokines, etc. These mediators cause bronchoconstriction, mucosal oedema, viscous mucus secretions resulting in airway obstruction. Now let's see what are the medicines given to the asthmatic patients. The anti-asthmatic drugs are given by inhalation, oral or parenteral roots parenteral means giving through injections they are very effective and safe when inhaled due to direct deposition of drug into the lungs for the treatment of asthma anti-asthmatic drugs are used they are divided into bronchodilators and anti-inflammatory agents the primary action of bronchodilators is the direct relaxation of the bronchial smooth muscles. These are inhaled through inhaler, nebulizers and puffer. Examples are selective beta 2 agonist such as solbutamol and terbutalin. Then comes the anti-inflammatory agents. These are the agents which are used in the treatment to reduce the inflammation. That is, inflammation can be swelling and itching. They act by modifying the inflammatory response of the mediators. Examples for anti-inflammatory agents are glucocorticoids that are inhaled glucocorticoids such as beclomethazone, dipropionate, fluticasone, propionate, and flunisolide. Sinusitis worsens asthma symptoms and makes treatment less effective. Asthmatic patients are at higher risk of developing obstructive sleep apnea. GERD that is gastrointestinal reflux disease worsens asthma symptoms. So, it should be included in treatment plan of asthma. Thank you all my dear friends. Please comment, share, like and subscribe my channel. And please press the bell icon so that you can get all my new videos notifications. Thank you all. Allah Hafiz.